Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins and the message, it reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post for me? Back then when I finished my high school, I decided to enjoy life just a little bit. Look nice, feel good and go out even more often. My high school examinations were done and dusted, so it was time for me to unwind and wait for the results to be released. So it was decided for me by my guidance that I should find something to do whilst I was waiting for the results to be released. I loved all the things beauty, so this kind lady took me and I started to learn from whatever she was teaching me. I would learn from the best during the long holiday and if I liked what I was seeing then I would pursue and have a professional course. I enjoyed my time there. The lady was motherly and patient, nurturing me and answering the questions that I had. I found out that the way that she was training me, I, it was quite satis satisfying and my decision was made there and there. I was going to pursue a course in that direction. On my days to work, that was when I met this other guy that I am going to call Max. Max worked nearby as a mechanic and we lived in the same neighborhood. So Max would give me a lift to and fro to work and sometimes he would come and check on me now and then. My boss liked him for being a young man who had a vision. This is what she told me, who knew what he wanted in life, not those Nyaupe boys who were always high. So it did not take much of a time before me and Max had started dating. So Max one day tricked me to coming to his house. Little did I know that he had unclean thoughts about me. I had told him that I had never been to bed with a man and saving myself for my husband and he told me that he respected my decision. So I went to his house confidently because he had asked me to only help him around the house by adding a feminine touch. I did not see that as a problem because I loved interior decor as well. I arrived at his house and I then gave him my own opinion on this and that. Little did I know that Max had planned to sleep with me even if it meant by force on that day. He started touching me and he said that he just wanted to feel special until I screamed on top of my lungs with pain. This was after he had tricked me and he was already making love to me. I must have passed out for I remember waking up on a cold floor in a cold room and I was naked as the day that I was born. How did I get in here? I slowly opened my eyes to take in the surroundings and it looked like I was in a freezer. But how did I get in the freezer? I clearly saw a tag on one foot and let me just wake up. I was starting to feel cold. I met a man who seemed to be writing something in a book and when he saw me, he let out a startled cry and ran out of the room only to come back with a few more people. I later learned that I was in a mortuary and when I had arrived at the hospital, I had been declared dead. It was a young man called Max that had brought me saying that he had found me unconscious on the side of the road. He said that he had even tried to give me some CPR on me but he had failed. There was even a police statement by him signed claim, claiming that he had found me unconscious. But those they were all pure lies. He was lying right through his teeth. Some tests were run to see if I was okay and when the doctors were satisfied I was discharged. By it, but I had mission so max had lied to the police and to the hospital staff that he had found me unconscious i decided to pay him a visit before i went home i found him taking a bath and because i had a spare key to his room i decided to wait for him in his room this was going to be fun i mused to myself he finished taking his bath and when he saw me he turned pale white i could see his skin changing color and him not sure if he was seeing correct i could sense that 
he was going through a lot of questions in his mind was he seeing a ghost was he seeing things that were right there i was in full flesh he ran outside of his room screaming and i was following him all the night all the noise caught the attention of his landlord who ran to see what this halabaloo was all about he set us all down and demanded to see what was going on i explained my side of the story from the part where he had tricked me to his house and to the part that i woke up finding myself in the mortuary so max then explained his side of the story that he had panicked when i was unconscious so, so what shocked max was that the way that i was speaking with him i was not angry i was actually feeling sorry for him because of the things that i had seen on the other side oh yes at that time just before i had woken up in that mortuary there were a couple of things that were revealed to me when i woke up i felt so much sadness and anger rising in me but because of the things that i had seen i just chose not to punish him and as max spoke he said that he did not know what to do and he had been desperate so his landlord had volunteered to take me to my guardian's place which, which was just a few blocks away we arrived and when people saw me they all ran away never had a person declared dead rise to wake up and walk again so as for my auntie she fainted when she saw me i had explained to her that it was me and i was okay i made it uh, to the front page of every newspaper i was almost to the talk of the town because max had slept with me i had some conditions which i wanted fulfilled that is if he even cared about me five years down the line max and i we, we are happily married and we had a wonderful wedding he funded my schooling and i have since forgiven him at least he did not dump my body in the river he had even went to the hospital just lying that he had found me unconscious by the side of the road i understand why he did what he did for at that time he confessed to me and he told me that he was really scared he told me that at the time when he saw that i had collapsed and i was unconscious he said that if i had gone with you to the hospital and if i had told everyone that we had been fighting people were going to think that i had tried to murder you and he apologized and i understood not because i am someone that is foolish but the things that i saw on the other side after i had died my brother those things they gave me a change of heart even at the time when i woke up i really wanted to get my revenge but i saw some things that even up until this day i have never been able to share my story with anyone for my husband has told me that if i try to go around telling people the things that i saw on the other side maybe people are not going to be as understanding as he is and they are going to think that maybe i am losing my marbles when you post my story i am going to try to send my story so when you post my story, please inform me so that I can give you the rest of my confession. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister. So it was forwarded to me by our admins. I can't wait for that story for we want to hear what is it that she saw on the other side. Yo.